What's up, train fam? Today we're going to be going over everything that we got at the Springfield Model Railway Show. This show was amazing. Two days, it was the largest and longest model railway show I've ever seen in my entire life, and I'm 43. Did I just say that? We're just going to go over real quick what we got at the train show. We didn't break the bank this year, which is good. We got some good stuff for good deals. Uh, some people were saying that a lot of people were asking full price for things, but you know, that's the point of a train show. You got to kind of start out high if you're a seller and if you're making friends with people and you're a nice guy or a nice lady, I guarantee most people will come down their price, especially if you support them on your channel, if you're a YouTube person or if you just buy multiple things. If you're just going around haggling people for, you know, nickel and diamond, that's not really going to do much for you. But again, if you're a good person, and you make friends with somebody, you actually spend some time, you're interested in their products, I guarantee most people will come down on their prices. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what we got. So here's the first item right here. It's just a little tiny shed that was custom built by a nice gentleman. We've bought a couple of buildings from him and this is gonna make a great little addition to the layout. I'm really digging these custom built houses things that you just can't find from Lionel or MTH. This little barn type of building, again, it's really nice, it's custom built. It's got custom roofs, nice cobblestone siding here, a little front porch, and in the back, we've got a little barn door that's open. Just a cool little house that's gonna make a great addition on the layout. We've got Dunfree's Main Street Hardware. This is a cool little store. If you look at it, it's definitely kind of a building flat, although it sticks out a little bit further. Nick, sorry, I had to buy a building flat, but it was really cheap. But Nick understands because this one's kind of cool. It's a little 3D. Uh, my buddy Nick, PGH Train Fanatic, has the coolest building flats on the market. If you haven't already seen them, which I'm sure most of you have, take a look at them. Anyways, this is a cool little hardware store. Again, it's like a, not really a building flat, but it will go up against the so wall. I'm not going to go over the prices of everything that we bought, but I couldn't pass this one up. Got a price tag here of 25 bucks and it's a cool custom building it feels like it's made out of maybe like porcelain or really hard plastic uh it's got the blue angel smoke shop right here uh, on the other side we've got the lewis tattoo shop as you guys can see i'm into tattoos i don't have a tattoo shop on the layout yet so why not pick this one up for 25 bucks you just can't go wrong right here pretty cool signage on the side of the building it's nice and weathered this is pretty cool in the back right here. Again, 25 bucks, you can't go wrong. Okay, another really cool building that we got is this one right here. It's uh, Solna's Tavern. It's got some awesome signage on it. It's got some really cool sidewalk detail. It's got some uh, parking meters that <laughs> probably got run over by the drunk individuals that left or, or got to the bar. This side over here too. Cool awnings at the top. Some windows that have really nice detail open and uh, you know somebody might have jumped out of that one you know it doesn't have any lights on it but it's really cool actually uh, if you look at the bottom of the building I'm not sure if the camera can pick up on it but the gentleman that that did this actually uh, signed it and he put a little description on what it is so this building right here was really cool um, kind of reminds me of something you'd see on the water maybe uh, a coastal or a port um, you know town type of bar which is really cool kind of reminds me of uh you know some towns around where i live here this is the gravely building uh it's got the southern grill inside of it awesome awnings a really nice detailed sidewalk uh custom roof custom everything on this building so somebody put a lot of time into this uh no wires in the bottom none of the buildings that i that i got had any wires in the bottom but easily able to put some lights in needs a little bit of work the side of the building right here is kind of peeling off a little bit, not a big deal. And this little chimney right here is tilted. I think it needs to be re-glued back on. Again, not a big deal, but just really cool if you check it out. I'm in love with this building. This one's awesome. Okay, so for the last type of building or structure that we got at the show is this awesome, awesome little dock right here. Uh, it's a dock. It's got a little shanty on it or a little, um, a little shack, I would say. It's definitely hand built as you can see it's real wood it's got some moss and barnacles on all the uh the piles that hold it up and a ton of old you know garbage tires boxes this this and that little guy right here 
and also on the pole right here you can see I think it's supposed to be a light um, there's a hook on it but it's kind of upside down but I think we're gonna put a little light on this I think it's gonna look really good and this is gonna go into our water scene which I definitely plan on doing on the layout so again this this building is great uh, the price on this one I did talk the guy down a little bit and I got it for 40 bucks um, you know, I think it's a steal. So a train show wouldn't be a train show without picking up some items from JT Megasteam. They make pretty much the best smoke fluid in the industry. Uh, you've got one right here, which is um, the wood stove, which we don't have yet. And as you guys have seen before, I have a wood stove and I love using it. it smells just like it. <laughs> and the next one that we got was frying bacon. Now this one right here, I'm not going to open it because it's it's crazy, but it smells exactly like frying bacon. Can't wait to try this one in one of my engines. And then we got the little pinpoint applicator right here, which as you know, if you have a small little smoke hole on one of your engines and you go to use one of these big droppers, you get smoke fluid all over the place. So we went ahead and bought one of these really cheap. You can't go wrong. And also at the, the JT uh, smoke fluid booth, the lady was also selling uh, a bunch of items bagged up like this all types of cool things and we picked up a uh, fruit crate uh, you know assortment right here and I'm gonna put these inside of the hobo boxcar that we got from Lionel really cool and last but not least of course at a train show you got to pick up a couple of trains right now I'm gonna warn you right now we didn't pick up any locomotives I've bought a ton of locomotives in the last couple months so I don't think that I really wanted anything at the show. Nothing really stood out to me. I mean, I did see a lot of cool locomotives, but nothing that really jumped out. So what did we do? We bought a couple of train cars. This one being the first one right here, which is the, uh, it's a Lionel 60 foot auto parts car. And it's got some, I think it's got some custom graffiti on it, which is really cool. This one jumped out to my wife. She thought that I should have more cars with graffiti on them, which I typically agree with. And uh, we got this one pretty cheap. It was only 25 bucks. So again, um, a really good deal to be had right here. It didn't come with the box, but you know what? No big deal. I'm a big Ford guy. Sorry, all you Chevy fans. But uh, yeah, this car was really cool, and I'm glad to add it to the collection. Okay, and last but not least, we've got this car right here from Ralph's Trains. You can find him on the web at ralphstrains.com. Uh, first time I met the guy, and he was an awesome gentleman. Uh, he showed me all around, showed me all of his different cars. Unfortunately, I couldn't buy multiple ones because it just wasn't in the budget. Um, but these cars are worth the money. I'm telling you right now, they have, um, you know, all con construction equipment on top. They've got, um, ones that have a completely built one and they have ones that are all taken apart like this one. This one really caught my eye. It's on a, uh, a tr Atlas train man box car. And it's got a custom deck on the top, as you can see right here. All the wood is uh, custom done. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful looking flat car. I couldn't be happier with this one. Again, if you want to check them out, it's ralphstrains.com. And I just love this. I'm going to have to get some more. Okay, so why don't we take everything that we got, put on the layout, just kind of set it up, and we'll run some trains around. Tell me what you guys think. By the way, I have a question for you all. I have yet to buy a good model glue, so if anybody can suggest a good model glue to me to fix some of these buildings that I've picked up, please put that down in the comments. And if you haven't already, please give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe to the channel. Thanks again for watching guys. Now onto the trains.